This is video lecture number four for chapter 22. We are going to discuss uh, esters, amines, and amides. So we are on page 39. An ester is an organic compound with a carboxyl group. So here is our carboxyl group in which the hydrogen of the hydroxyl group, so here we are going to remove the H and replace it with an alkyl group. So here is our carboxyl group. And here is our alkyl group. Since this has three carbons, this is propyl. You don't have to write this in. This, with the two carbons, came from ethanoic acid, and we now call it ethanoate. So this whole molecule is called propyl ethanoate. We do the alkyl group first, and then the acid that it was derived from. So first we're going to draw one then we will name it. So this you can draw. So the first thing we have to do is to locate the acid part. So here, don't draw this line, you don't have to. Here is the acid, the COO. We're missing the H because it was replaced by the alkyl group. So what is this acid called? Well, three carbons. That is propanoic acid. But when it becomes an ester, it is propanoate. Now, onto propanoate, we have added an alkyl group. What alkyl group did we add? Well, there are two carbons. So that came from ethane. So it is the ethyl group. And we have ethyl propanoate. So we named the alkyl group first, but ending it with O8. So first, we'll draw this. And we have to be careful. Sometimes we can draw the acid to the right side of the molecule. So we're going to have four carbons on this side. The first thing we do is we identify the acid. The acid is the COO part. And here it is. Now this time, we wrote the molecule backwards. And then we have this. So we have a methyl group. So this is methyl. Now we have four carbons that came from butanoic acid. And we call it butanoate. So we're going to practice drawing esters in class, but that's the basic way we do it. Turn to page 45 in the notes, and the next thing we're going to look at are the amines. The amines are organic compounds that contain nitrogen atoms bonded to carbon atoms. So now we're going to add nitrogen to the mix. Amines are derivatives of ammonia. So here, if we draw one, two, three carbons, single bonded, and off of this carbon, we put an NH2, 
That's what signifies that it is an amine. And this is called one. We got three carbons for prope. Prope anamine. So the amines just add an amine ending. This time we have to say one because the amine can be found on a different carbon atom. So this time we have four carbons. I'm going to put the amine here. Complete the structure. Carbon always needs four. This time, we have came from butane. We have an amine on the second carbon to butanamine. Our last group is the amides, organic compounds in which the OH of a carboxylic acid, that's the COOH, is replaced by a nitrogen atom bonded to, in our case, other hydrogen atoms. So if I draw one, two, three carbons, with H's, and on this third carbon, I put a double bonded O, and I don't have the OH to make it an acid, but I put the amine group, we now have three carbons, which came from propane, and then we just have to make it an amide ending. So this is propanamide. It's always on the end, so we don't have to call it one propanamide. So we're going to review these in class. That's the basic lecture, so we will see you in class.